Welcome to part 12 of the Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom Let's Play. The first area you want to enter in the second portion of the hub world is Sandy's Tree Dome to get another golden spatula. Uh, from this point, well not from this point on, but in the next, next two areas, it's going to be like Battle Royale. Oh, and Battle Royale pretty much speaks for itself. Just destroy all the enemies. I usually go for the robot generators. I mean, well, then again, why wouldn't you want to go for the enemy spawners? Just knock out any robot that's in your way. So, one thing I would like to mention, though, is that I actually kind of like this reference to, well, that one episode in, uh, where Spongebob first meets Sandy. He, like, you saw it for, like, a couple of seconds, but Patrick was actually looking through the glass dome. So I'm seeing how well Spongebob is doing. And how well Spongebob's doing, he... Well, dehydrated. Yeah, he's... Hit. So, that's kind of a nice reference, although I do kind of find it a little creepy. He especially... He, when his eyes pop out when he... Er, from where every time he lands from a jump. Still though, it's a nice little reference to that episode. And then you want to enter Shady Shoals. And you obviously, and this place obviously has the Mermelair. Here, so. Yeah, you probably, he saw, you probably know about how the, uh, the Mermelair would be here, so. Ah, I just messed up badly on my part. Uh, I'm not going to point this out. I'm going to point this out right now. I mean, I'm not going to show it off, but there's actually a sock here. Like in Squidward's like in Squidward's house, just destroy just destroy everything hang in the area. And you should get your reward that way. So, by the way, I love this little cutscene right here. Think, huh? He's like, huh? Mm -hmm. So now we're in the Mermel Lair. And well, Mermel Mermaid Man's gonna tell us our goal here, but it's simply it's simple as shut down the security system. Um, and what do I think about this? But what do I think about the stage uh, as a whole? It's not bad in terms of design, and like level design itself. But there's some missions of it, it that I just can't stand for the life of me. And and well, yeah, two missions in this level. Well, I'm not gonna show them off in. Uh, well, at least in this part, but there's a cylinder mission where you have to press the right buttons and it comes off in a pattern, and then you have a ball puzzle. Well, don't worry though, it's not like 06. Because you don't have to hit the ball. Well, I'm not. Well, I'm not gonna give if any more detail until we actually get to it. But again, I'll say, I'll tell you this right now, it's not Silver's Ball Puzzle from 06. It can still be quite, but it can still be quite a buster, though. I hope that joke wasn't bad. But anyway, past this electric barrier, we have another robot. Another new robot. And it's a cowboy. 
Maybe with a couple dogs, robot dogs. You just it it acts like it's a robot in itself, but also acts like a dispenser. And since I don't have the cruise bubble, where I can pretty much just one hit the guy, he just bubble bowl. Well, the first time when you get to this part, here. The next two times you just want to spin attack them. And since we have our bubble bowl, we want to turn. We have these turning objects. Just turn it once. Turn it a couple times to get another bungee for a sock. To bungee down for another sock. But just go here. By the way, I kind of love this little reference right here. Here, just hit the button and voila. Yeah, the invisible boat mobile cosmetic but again I like the little reference and speaking of buttons like those we're actually introduced to we're actually introduced to them and um, I'm guessing in the button is to who who tucked in so Spongebob can't spin attack it so you have to use the bubble ball And, uh, that's it for the first area. So now we're in the second area. And then we get our introduction. And so... Okay then, now here's something I don't get. How did Squidward? Yeah, how did Squidward or get down here? Or what? Did he just take the elevator? I mean, it's a theory. Well, actually, it does kind of make sense now. That, now that you think about it. It's so. Uh, There's a path, the path to the, uh, to the main computer. There is, well, you can't, well, we can't get to it. We have to do, we have to do some button pressing. In fact, we're heading to the first one right now. Oh, just, just bubble bowl the button at the right angle and should act, it should activate a conveyor belt bridge. But then we have this area, which I which I think it's a good idea to end the part off. Uh, but this mission, it's not. It's well, it's not. I just think this mission is annoying, really. And I'll get to that when, and I get to the next part. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna attempt, I'm going to attempt at it once, and I'm not gonna pay that toll. No, I'm not. It contains a cylinder puzzle, where I cannot stand for the life of me. But yeah, once, next time in part thirteen, we are gonna be continuing on with the Mermelair. So I'm Game Man Five Eight Four. You guys have, you guys have a great day.